I want you to fight for your right to vape. But first, let me apologize for my appearance. I'm just getting out of the shower after just getting back from our first family vacation. And we've already had to cancel two due to complications with our son's health because of his severe congenital heart defect. So I apologize if any of this information is slightly correct or outdated because things in the vape industry are basically changing overnight right now. So please, as I mentioned already, fight for your right to vape, not only at a federal level, but at a state level as well. You need to be attending meetings meetings and conferences, emailing and calling everyone, your local representatives, governors and candidates. States are enacting quick and unjust vapor bans, some just banning flavors, others banning all vapor products. New York, Michigan, New Jersey, California, and now my home state of Washington. I had to brace myself as I watched this sickening press conference where Governor Inslee proposed a vapor flavor ban that will be voted on October 9th. Hundreds of businesses will shut down, thousands of people will be out of jobs, all in the name of what? public health and the kids or so they all claim but if public health was really their concern why couldn't they just swiftly ban cigarettes like they're doing with vape products oh because it's not about public health it's not really about the kids either because kids will smoke or vape no matter what it tastes like better ban flavored alcohol too you know for the kids uh but i'm an adult and i like flavors i like whipped cream vodka i like caramel vape flavors I like strawberry cake batter flavors. So these bans have been prompted due to the recent lung illnesses that have been popping up in the hundreds and a handful of people have actually died. May they rest in peace. The media and the political cronies ran with this when it first started coming on. Even though the CDC's information has always been a little wishy-washy on what was really going on. And they've even started to come out and say that most of these cases are linked to vaping black market THC oils that have been thinned down with other chemicals. So this bootleg stuff that Joe Schmo has been putting into vape carts raises concern about, oh, the black market. Well, banning anything is going to create a bigger and more dangerous, less controllable black market. Hello. So I'm sitting here with my jaw on the floor watching these vape bans go through and to be on vacation and see that my own state is following suit really sucks, which is why you all have to get involved. It is obvious that those in charge care more about getting their master settlement agreement tax money from cigarettes than they actually do about us adult vapors, which is in the millions here in America. Over 10 million, I think the last number I saw estimated was 13 million adult vapors. We vape, we vote. It's time to call your local reps and the White House because there's like a federal ban being proposed as well, which again, we are millions strong. We can make a difference, but every single person out there has to do their part because then and only then will we actually make a difference. So I am going to stop rambling. It is dinner time. I just wanted to come on here real quick and say I am devastated by what's going on, but I will not give up and neither should you. So I will leave links, important links below, as well as phone numbers where you can call the White House, the comment line, and tell them why banning vapor products would be so detrimental to your health, public health, and the kids. You know, like they're so worried about saving the kids. Well, save their parents. Me. I quit smoking years ago thanks to a vapor product. I never thought I would ever quit and here I am and I know there's people out there that smoked even longer than I did, more cigarettes than I did, that also quit on vapor products. So we need these people to know that we know what is going on and this isn't about public health and this isn't about the kids. It's all about that dollar in their pocket. So we need to use our right to vote and vote in the people that are going to advocate for a safer alternative to smoking. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I gotta go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.